Warframe's recent update, Whispers in the Walls, introduced Melee Arcanes and a brand new system called Tenokai. And these changes made Melee's the best weapon type in the entire game at the moment, not only dealing unbelievable amounts of damage, but enabling way more. So, in today's guide, I'm going to show you what these new features can do, how you can get your hands on them, and most importantly, what you personally need to know to be on top of your melee performance in 2024. As always, big love to all my general channel members who help me keep the lights on. And now, let's jump right into it. Alright, so the first system that was implemented with the new update are melee arcanes that of course make melee weapons way stronger than they have ever been. So first of all, let's go over which new melee arcanes are in the game and for which specific playstyles and warframes they might be useful. And then afterwards, we're of course also going to go quickly over how you can get your hands on them. The first melee arcane, and also in my opinion one of the most busted ones, would be melee fortification, giving you at max rank plus 210 armor for 10 seconds every time you do a melee kill. Now, you might think 210 armor, that's not all that much, we have arcanes that give us way more than that, right? But this thing right here does not have a cap. With this arcane, you can theoretically make your warframe incredibly tanky through armor alone. And with melee fortification, you might be able to free up the arcane guardian slot and replace it with something else because all the armor in the world that you need will come from the melee arcane. Next, another silver arcane. Unfortunately, in contrast to the previous one, this one I think might not be all that useful. I'm talking about melee retaliation. At max rank, melee retaliation gives you plus 30 melee damage for every 200 concurrent shields that you have on your warframe up to a maximum of plus 420%. Basically, what this one does is it's kind of meant to be a bit like the primary weapon arcanes that give you more damage for every headshot or for every kill. However, this one doesn't stack with the kills that you're getting or the headshots or whatever, but they're for the shields that you have currently on your warframe. And this is my problem with this, because even though shields have been buffed in terms of their tankiness recently, if you're playing Steel Path, of course, shields are going to be paper mache. If you have a build that can constantly replenish your shields at maximum, I'm talking like maybe Protea or something, this could still be nice, or Revenant with his Mesmer skin, this one might be really, really strong if you want to go for a maybe melee Revenant, for example. Next, Melee Vortex. When you kill an enemy that is affected by a magnetic status effect, you have a chance to pull in enemies within an 18 meter radius. This, I think, is really interesting because it gives magnetic status effects a new use. I could mop my Diriga towards magnetic, so Diriga would inflict magnetic, and then the grouping would come from this arcane, basically turning my Diriga into little Nautilus himself. Just one thing that comes to mind for me right now, but I think Melee Vortex can have quite the use out there. Which can also be said for the next one, which would be Melee Influence. When your melee deals an electricity status, at max rank, you have a 20% chance that elemental melee status effects are applied to all the enemies within a 20 meter radius for 18 seconds. This is kind of a bit like the Duviri Decree, which also spreads status effects, and I think this can be very great. However, it requires your melee weapon to deal electricity status effects, and I'm not that sure if you really gain more by spreading these effects with the arcane, or whether at the end of the day you better skip it and focus on more damage. However, one thing I don't need to test in order to be able to say it's amazing would be melee exposure. On ability cast, your weapons, your melee strikes will be infused with corrosive damage for 25 seconds at max rank, stacking up to 240%. This one is absolutely amazing, specifically looking at the new Archon shards with which we can now fully armor strip on corrosive alone. I talked about this in my Archon shard video, in case you missed that, which is awesome without having to mod for it, right? It's an infusion on top of what you're going for with your melee in the first place. I think for certain level ranges, this might be one of my favorites. Similar to the next one, which would be melee animosity, giving you at max rank a 42% critical chance on your next heavy attack, stacking up to 420% with every melee hit that you score. Basically, this arcane is meant to be used in tandem with the new Tenokai mods, about which we're going to talk here in a second, so that you go on and you hit your normal strikes to build up this potential crit buff, and then when you unleash a heavy attack, you get this heavy attack critical chance. So this one right here can not only give you potentially red crits, but also red crits with quite a lot of exclamation marks at the end. 
let's now also talk about the two new legendary melee arcanes, those being Melee Crescendo and Melee Duplicate. Melee Crescendo is going to be amazing if you run level cap or long endurance missions, because what it does is, for every finisher kill that you get, you gain 6 initial combo for the rest of your mission. What this means is, if at the beginning of the mission you get a lot of finisher kills, you can potentially increase your initial combo to the maximum of 200, meaning you would always, for the rest of the mission, have a 12x combo multiplier, even if you score a heavy attack. And the last one on the list would be Melee Duplicate, giving you, on base critical hits, a 100% chance, at the highest rank, that those melee hits will strike a second time. Now, there's a bit to unwrap about this. What it says is on base critical hits, meaning on yellow crits. This one does not trigger on orange, red or even higher crits. And what the effect does is basically, when you deal a yellow crit, it's like that hit, dealing the yellow crit, is hitting a second time, like it's hitting twice every time you hit and deal a yellow crit. I think this one is very interesting because it strongly incentivizes us to not always go for those high crit combo builds, right? And therefore this one gives us like double the hits. Just one thing you gotta keep in mind is, to maximally benefit from this, you wanna have ideally 100% crit chance on your weapon, meaning every hit is a yellow crit. And also, if you could drop a like, I would be super happy because it helps the channel out a ton, so cheers for that, friends. Sound good? Then let me also quickly tell you how you can get your hands on your personal melee arcanes. First of all, since it came with a new update, it's locked behind the Whispers in the Walls quest, meaning you will have to finish this quest first, so better do that sooner than later. Then you need a melee arcane adapter, just like with the primary and secondary weapons, to unlock the melee arcane slot. You can get those adapters, for example from the new Netrasil game mode, or also in exchange for standing with the new Syndicate. As for the melee arcanes themselves, the legendary two arcanes can only be obtained from the Netracel mission in the mission rewards, so they're quite rare, and the rest of the arcanes, like the silver and the golden ones, can be exchanged also for standing from the Syndicate, as well as also as drops from the Netracel missions, and as a reward from the Fragmented Murmur boss, where it has a guaranteed arcane drop. But alright, so much for the melee arcanes, go get yourself some, they are amazing not only for damage output, but also for providing great utility for your Warframe and your setup. Let's however now talk about the second big topic of today's video, which would be Tenokai, the brand new Warframe melee system, which gives us unprecedented, never seen before damaging potential. First of all, what even is Tenokai? Tenokai is a, honestly, quite simple new system that allows you to get heavy attacks for free without sacrificing your combo counter. When you're in your melee auto attack mode, at random occasions, this little symbol right here is gonna pop up in your crosshair. If you then unleash a heavy attack while this symbol is there, this heavy attack will not reset your combo counter, meaning you could theoretically constantly be at a 12x combo counter while at the same time dumping your heavy attacks into the enemies like there's no tomorrow. This is of course incredibly strong and I really like the system, it makes it a bit more interesting and rewards us with big, big damage numbers. In order to be able to use this new system, all you need to do is equip one of the new Tenokai mods onto your melee weapon and then you can go. So, let's take a look at the Tenokai mods now. As of right now in the game, we have six different Tenokai mods, of which one is for free and will be rewarded to you after you finish the Whispers in the Walls quest automatically. It's called Mentor's Legacy and all it really does is it enables the use of this Tenokai system in the first place. So take this one, put it onto your melee weapon and then those symbols will start appearing in your crosshair as you strike enemies with your melee weapon. What's more interesting though are the other five, so let's go over them now. Master's Edge not only enables Tenokai, but it also increases the damage that you do with your Tenokai attacks by 60%. This one is of course nice, but I personally think it's not that special and there are better options. Conditions Perfection, on top of enabling Tenokai of course, increases the status chance by 100% on Tenokai attacks. This sounds great on paper, but in reality, many melee types already have a force slash proc whenever you deal a heavy attack, so having plus 100% status chance means, well, maybe you deal two slashes then, but you know, you're also auto attacking, so there are tons of slashes in the first place, meaning yeah, it is good, but it's not all that great either. Another one that I think is nice to have, but also not that great, would be Opportunities Reach. 
what it does is, beyond, you know, enabling Tenokai in the first place, is it increases the duration of the opportunity window, you know, the time frame in which you have the symbol in your crosshair and can unleash the heavy attack. It increases that to four seconds, meaning if you're not that much of a quick reaction player, this one will be definitely very great. And on top of that, you get three meter more range for every Tenokai heavy attack. Now, sure, the four seconds are basically personal preference. I personally think I don't need them. However, if you don't have that quick of a reflex, then this is definitely your mod to go for here. However, with the three meters, that's sort of a mixed bag. If you want to strike a big group of enemies with one Tenokai attack, of course, this is great. However, if you want to use your Tenokai more strategically, you know, to hit tankier, heavier foes with one very strong hit, then with the plus three meters, you can actually shoot yourself in the foot because of follow through. Whenever you hit multiple enemies with one melee strike, the first enemy you hit will get the full damage and every subsequent enemy that you hit will only get a fraction of the damage that the enemy before them has gotten. This one is shown in the follow-through stat of your personal melee weapon. So if you want to use your Tenokai to hit a big Eximus or elite enemy, then you want to make sure that you hit that enemy first and ideally only that enemy. So Opportunity's Reach is kind of a mixed bag. However, there are also really amazing Tenokai mods, for example, Dreamer's Wrath. This one increases the chance that this Tenokai symbol appears by 50%, meaning that's gonna happen more often, and also it increases your heavy attack critical damage by 32%. This one is absolutely amazing and I can see a lot of people use this as their primary option. However, my personal favorite, because I think this is criminally underrated, is Disciple's Merit. What this does doesn't sound all that impressive on paper, but it really is in reality. It makes that those Tenokai opportunities don't just appear randomly, but that they appear predictably every four melee hits that you score. By not having those things appear randomly, you can sort of automate this whole gameplay and don't have to actively think about it anymore. And also, four melee hits is really not that much, especially if you hit multiple enemies with one strike, this symbol is basically gonna appear all the freaking time. Sounds all nice and dandy? Well, then the question arises, where do you even get the Tenokai mods? So let's talk about that for a second, but don't worry, it's actually pretty straightforward. In order to get the Tenokai mods, just like with the Melee Arcanes, of course, the first thing you need to do is to finish the Whispers in the Wall quest, and by finishing the quest, you will already get the first Tenokai mod called Mentor's Legacy, which, as I already said, simply enables this feature in the first place. Together with this mod, you also get the new Melee Upgrade segment that is connected with this feature. So, go to your arsenal, install the Melee Upgrade segment, and now you have access to the Melee Axela slot. Now, the Tenokai mods themselves are all dropped from Rotation C of the new Alchemy game mode that also comes with the new tile set. Mission name would be Kembire on Deimos if I remember it right. Or, alternatively, if you're feeling rich and lazy, you can also buy the Essential Tenokai mod bundle from the market for 100 plat. Now, I'm sure on Warframe.market it's gonna be cheaper, but all in all, 100 plat doesn't sound too outrageous. And speaking of Warframe Market, if you desire to buy the Tenokai mods or the Melee Arcanes on Warframe.market, my personal tip would be just wait a couple of weeks because the update is only out for one week now and I'm sure the prices for all the new stuff are still going to fall. But these melee changes only scratch the surface of all the new possibilities. So if you want to know everything about Warframe's new meta, then you must check out this video right here. Another massive thank you to Akimbo Fate, Niels V, Lamies, Demon Lord Zell, Bland Waffle, Demon Emperor, Emperor Prime, Ross Kamiz, Nost Linux Gaming, and all other generous channel members for your generous support. We see each other, hopefully in the next one, and until then, as always, good loot.